Hey everybody, my name is Nick Rummel. My office hours are from 4 to 6 p.m. Tuesday and Thursday in Stratton Hall. Uh, John Helland is also there. We're um, always willing to give you any help if you guys need anything from us. Um, we're going to be going over question 12 today, which is integrating factor method. Uh, the logic behind integrating factor comes from the product rule. And if you're not understanding why it works or... Um, wanting to really go through the derivation again, there's uh, lots of videos online that I encourage you to do that, um, but this is off the side, and uh, basically what we're trying to do is make this mirror that, and that is um, the logic behind integrating factor. So first step in integrating factor is to find our mu, mu equals e to the integral of our f of t, which is right here, so we have y prime uh, plus f of t y, which equals g of t, right there. And so this is our f of t, which is negative 2t dt. We can see that this is um, equal to uh, e to the ln. Um, we can bring the negative 2 out in front of the integral. And then we have a negative 2 here, um, t which also equals e to the ln of 1 over t squared. Um, we do that because by logarithm rules, we can bring this back up into the exponent, and t to the negative 2 equals 1 over t squared. Uh, we can get, see that e to the ln of something is just the something inside. And so this is what our mu is going to be. Now, from our project rule logic, we can say that the derivative with respect to t of the product of y times our mu of t, which is 1 over t squared, um, is going to equal our g of t now. And we see that that is, oh, apologize. We're going to see that that is uh, 2t squared. Um, we take the integral with respect to t on both sides. And um, what happens next is um, we see that this is just the antiderivative of this um, derivative. So we have y times 1 over t squared. And um, I'm sorry, I did not write the initial condition at the top. Digression. Uh, so we see this happens. And then we see um, 2 thirds t cubed plus uh, c from this, and then we get uh, y equals uh, 2 thirds t to the fifth uh, plus c times t squared. And we now use our initial condition, which is y when t is negative 2 equals 4, so we have 4 equals 2 over 3 times negative 2 to the fifth uh, plus c times negative 2 squared. Um, what happens here is we see that um, you go through a little bit of arithmetic and arrive at 16 thirds equals c. We plug this back into our original equation, and you get the explicit solution of y to the 2 thirds t to the fifth um, plus 16 thirds t squared is your solution.